Hello everyone, welcome back. Let's move on. Took a little break, had to get some college business out of the way, but now that that's done, I can finally get back to doing this stuff. You know, the stuff I like doing. It doesn't feel like a chore. Well, most of the time, anyways. Of course, if it feels like a chore, then, you know, there's no point in me even doing this. Because then it's not as entertaining for you guys. I'm guessing we, yeah, we just gotta fight a bunch of grunts. Alright, so let's get down to business and take out Godard's little cult group. Let's move everybody forward. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Mm, whoa, game kind of slide out there a bit. Oh, we're 11 for 11, so we start even up with that. Where's my guy? I want to see if there's any hidden items I need to be on the lookout for. Ooh, there is. 12, 15. Ooh, and there's a bow that I might get. Which is at 025, I think that's seed. Yes, 025 and 1215. Zero or twenty-five fifty. Yeah, I'm getting them mixed up. All right, so there's that one. That one is the that's the map, I think. Okay, so they're in treasure chests. At least two of the items are. Ah, well, I'll figure it out later. All right, so what do I got to contend with? Spearman, solar flare. Oh, there's only one caster. Well, that makes this easy. One caster and a matter of playing dodgeball with the rest. Particularly the archers. Oh, and I saw The Hobbit today. Great movie. Although I will say that I think that with how good The Lord of the Rings was, that The Hobbit might not get the uh, same welcome reception. I mean, I don't expect it to be on the scale of Lord of the Rings by any means, but... In some ways, I think maybe Peter Jackson... Jackson? Okay, I said that kind of weird. Uh, Peter Jackson should have made The Hobbit first and then made Lord of the Rings. Because imagine how Lord of the Rings would have been if it was made now. Of course, then again, it might not have been as epic. Because it may have been a little too reliant on CGI, which I think was one of the problems with this movie. A little too reliant on the CGI. We'll just push all of our people forward. Hopefully I won't end up in the range of that uh, magician, which I might want to double check anyways. And it doesn't matter because he's already moved anyways. So never mind. Okay, I'll just have him start pretty much just making blocks so he can get up there. chill out. What I'll use them for is my bait and switch guys. What I mean by that is, is I'll use them to kind of just like, if I can't figure out what move the enemy's going to do, then I'll just have one of those guys move. That way I still have all my other guys that I can use. You'll see what I mean once I actually do it. If it makes, if that, what I just said made no sense. Right then. Oh yeah. Turn in, yes. Chucklenut's range. In a manner of speaking, yes. Those three in the middle there. Pike Vlad and Lyra. Uh, what about you? Who all can you hit from here? Nobody! So you are the last one on my mind. Alright, if I had a guess, I would say he's gonna go for her. That's just me taking a guess. Let's see if I guess right. Nope, I did not. No matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter, because Vlad says, fuck you. Alright, Vlad. 
move in for the kill. Alright, good. I was hoping they would move that guy first, and I get pushed back. And doesn't that just figure? Oops. Okay. Take out the archer. I'll probably have Pratal slam a spell or two on him. Oh, okay. Using the old two can play in this game, huh? Oops, I don't want to move you there. I need to get you a little bit up there. Aqua Freeze. Okay, I need to do this in such a way that I don't hit my own guy. There we go. And he's probably going to use his little heal thing, which is fine. It's basically a trade-off. The sound's being a little buggy there. But of course the sound is always buggy, so who am I kidding? Priority is to take out the archer. So hopefully Pike has more agility, and he does. And hopefully we can kill this guy. Good stuff. Good job, Pike. And yes, you're gonna do your little heal move. I need to be mindful of where I'm moving these people. I want to give that one guy up there some ammo. Okay. Block right there. Set up the ground level for those. Alright then, folks, if you'll excuse me for a moment. Okay, sorry about that. I had to go rearrange something right quick. Alright, well, that's my turn ended. Uh. Huh. <laughs> when did he take 19 damage? I'm very strange. Let's take this guy out. I'm curious as to what this guy's gonna do. If he's gonna go for the heal or if he's gonna go for the damaging my guys a bit. I imagine he's gonna go for the heal. Alright, that's Q. Yep, he was going for the heal. Haha, <laughs> and he got nobody. Haha, <laughs> good stuff. Right then, let's see if I can. Oops. If I can hit him, I doubt it. This. Ah, uh, he's just out of range. Actually, hold on, hold on. Yeah, he's just out of range. Huh. Oops. Let's see if you got anything. Windstorm. Moving you, put moving you there, put you in any particular danger. Three accidents, they wouldn't be a problem. One spirit, yeah, okay, yeah. that can be fine. Triple jab, actually, I yeah, used that. Good. That 
guy hits like a truck. Glad to the rescue, though. Yes, I know, game. Again, that dude's creep or happy face is very creepy. All right, just a sec, folks. All right, sorry about that. Had to put something uh, elsewhere. Okay, that's not. Yeah, yeah, you could have taken that the wrong way, but yeah, I just had to go take it. Leave it at that. Eight. Dirty-minded people. Okay. And we'll move you. Oops. Yes, yes. I know. I misclicked game. Okay, all his stuff became usable. Oh yeah, I gotta... One more should do the trick. Okay, got that squared away, and that leaves two more, so ending it. So presumably that guy's gonna go try to kill himself. Well, I do this. as much damage as I thought I was going to to that guy, but eh, still good stuff. And he leveled up. Oh, no, he's going for the kill. And I can see why. <laughs> this is gonna sting. Yeah, that stung just a tiny bit. Oh, uh, nothing we can't recover from. Right. Alright, who's close to leveling up between you two? You are, so we'll send in you. Come on, Lyra. Oh, hello there. I figured you'd go for Pike. Guess I was wrong. Alright, just don't kill Vlad. That's all I ask of you. Ooh! Alright, this ain't gonna end well for me. 
83 and 83. Just barely survived that. Alright, so... Oh, Guilty's close to leveling up. Oh, wow, I didn't realize there was a level difference here. Whew, I might need to do some of those hidden missions after all. Get my EXP all cut up. Guilty will automatically heal on his own with the uh, recover mark, so not as worried about him. Oh, and like an idiot, I didn't include Portal in that. Damn it! No, oh, well, no matter. All the range guys are gone. All I got left is a bunch of axemen, so. Alright, that's not too much to worry about then. Just gotta be mindful of where the Baron is in relation to where all the other guys are. Oh, and he's got recover marks too, so yeah, it doesn't... Yeah, okay, so that's fine. Okay, I can't hit him. I can do this. I can polar skewer his ass. Which I will do. <laughs> hasn't really been doing much this entire fight. And on the plus side, all the important ones have been killed or dealt with. It's probably been one of the easier missions we've had in a bit. Granted, most of them have been easy for me. With just a few minor slip-ups here and there, but nothing, you know. Gameplay threatening. Pike. Just going off a guess there. And I was right. Alright, so I need to get my main guy and such up there because they need the EXP. Fine, he needs EXP. He's fine, she needs EXP. Although only a little bit, cause she's at 42. She's level 44, so she is especially fine. Tower should be fine as well, and he is. 
I guess I'll go ahead and do that heal soul deal again. Might as well. Puts her back up to where she needs to be. said the controls are not cooperating fully. VXP, nice. All right, Anthony, take him out. I don't know why they would use triple jab on a single guy when their regular jab will do pretty much more damage anyway. That's him dealt with. As those guys go down, have Hammond roll up there. Now, where is that hidden item at? Now that I'm up here. 1215. We're at 1210. Ah, so it's up there. 
Right, so I know where all the hidden items are now. He's 44, so I'm not going to really use him. Eh, I'll have Pertow give him a little slap across the face with the staff. See if that bumps him up a level. Eh, close. I need to move. Nope, so I'll end the turn. Right, so can those guys hit him at That's what I'm curious about. No, they can't. Will he be able to move up there? Yes, he will. Alright then, so we know what to do. Set this up like a three on three. Agra's guilty, and Antony versus these three X-Men. All I'll really have to do is let them come at me, basically. And then Hammock can swoop by and snag all the items. I might as well nab all of them, since I'm not really wanting to check on the book, see which one's where. I'll just nab them all, why not? Okay, let's get the hidden map here, or hidden map C. Map C found. Good stuff. In turn. All we really gotta do at this point is move Hammond around. And if the X-Men choose to follow, well then they're idiots. And they're idiots. Well, at least that one is. Oh, wait, oh, never mind. He would have been able to get a hit, so never mind. He's not quite that stupid. Still, if the computer didn't... If the computer knew me by now, it would know that I was going to move Hammond first. But, oh well. AI's not all that brilliant. Right. Agris and Guilty should be fine. Well, Guilty's full paste. Because Agris... Yeah, she's fine, so... Yeah, we can afford to take hits at this point. Oops, no, I don't want to do that. I need you to unlock that. And I'm rather happy we didn't have to use any herbs, because we basically walk into the next fight, although I think it gives you a choice of like, hey, do you think we're ready to, you know, finally go through with this, or do we need to head back and get supplies? Since I haven't really used anything, I might as well just go forth. Uh, yeah, almost said a changer. It's a clanger. Let's see what that does. Okay, so I have Anthony step in the back. Slash him from behind. Do a backstab attack, kind of. Shank! 66 EXP. Alright, so I should be able to get Antony into level 43. At the very least. Then everybody will be caught up. Do we? Alright, I'm just gonna hit him from the front. So that I have a clear indication of where he's gonna be able to move. And he's obviously gonna go behind Antony. As long as these are in the way, he should be able to move forward, yeah. So it's obvious he'll go for there, because that's where he's guaranteed to get a hit. Predictable... Predict... Damn it, damn it. Predictable AI is predictable. And what level are you, Hammett, out of my curiosity? Yeah, you're pushing for level 41. So you might get the honors of killing the last axe, man. Provided we can get Anthony to level 43, which I have no doubt that we'll be able to do. No doubt on my mind. Once that's done, everybody's caught up, and I just need to snag last item, and we can be on our way to freaking dealing with Godard. 
Well, damn, Antony, you didn't kill him. What the hell? Thought I trained you better than this. Level 7 HP. Come on, Antony, you're better than that. 40 some odd videos, and you still haven't got the picture yet. Megan Aggers have to finish your dirty work? Ah. Poor shame. No wonder Adele's not really into you. And I'm giving him a hard time for no real apparent reason. Okay, fly away and un unlock. Pretty soon, instead of the X-Men chasing me, I'm going to be chasing him. It's a game of cat and mouse. That's the new bow we're going to have. It's just a matter of seeing if it's better than the one that Maria already has. Right then. Turn in. Yes. Just fly here. Alright, turn into game. Alright, so where all can you move, kind sir? You're gonna get Hammond from behind. I'm gonna move there because I should be able to hit him from behind. Basically, get a guaranteed hit. And it's true. Or correct. That. Oh, you didn't get a crit, loser. But you leveled up, so never mind. Okay, turn in, yes. Right then. And with the evil doll again. Good game to you. Alright, so we got all the hidden items, we got all the stuff. Their boss is up ahead. Let's hope so. And 100,000 in the bag. Mm, nearly 300,000. Not that we really need that much more money, anyways. When's the last time money's been a problem for me? Like chapter 2, maybe? Oh, and it figures it looks all Satan-y. Hmm, Cardinal. Guys named Yuri being traitors. It makes no sense. Ah, so he's the one that saved Nicola. I'm guessing he was also that mole they were referring to. Yep. Alright, so I guess Cardinal in a way redeemed himself in that manner. Oh, 
a ballsy move on his part. Talking big to the... <laughs> Uh-oh. Ooh. No, you were figuratively. Now you are literally. <laughs> well, goodbye, Cardinal. So much for him, but in a way, he redeemed himself. I mean, he gave away Godard's position and saved Nicola, so eh, in a way, he kind of redeemed all the corrupt ways he had. Alright, so it looks like Godard's staying behind to deal with us. Resurrection? Who are they resurrecting? <laughs> well, that's a somewhat normal laugh, at least. But, Cardinal's dead. And, in a way, died a hero. Oh, well, okay, so it automatically gives you the choice. Alright then, folks, I'm going to take the time to see if that bow is worth using or exchanging, and then I'm going to see if there's anything else I really need to take care of before dealing with one Godard. So, I will see you all soon.